talk a lot about sustainability, eating local, buying local, but is that realistic? If we had to, if disaster struck, could we honestly support ourselves? I live on Bainbridge Island, which is just across the sound from Seattle, Washington, and it's the perfect place to explore this question. Here, land is limited, but we have a rich history of farming and a strong local food movement. However, failing septic systems along the shoreline leak waste, even as we shop green. A Japanese-American population that once provided much of our food still remembers the trauma of U.S. internment camps. The land and surrounding waters bear the scars of the lumber and shipbuilding industry. As we struggle to repair the damage, we look to our neighbors and elders for models for sustainable living. This book is based on over 30 interviews with farmers, chefs, Native American elders, food retailers, and educators throughout the community. The forces that affect how we eat are large and systematic, but these systems are made up of individuals, people with their own opinions trying to make their own changes. Ultimately, if we can't make sustainability work on Bainbridge Island, blessed with an abundance of resources, how can we expect it to work anywhere else? Our mission then is to create a healthy, sustainable food system that works for everyone. What's good for the salmon is good for us.